Uh. Viper. Viper. <laughs> um, no one's ever happy to see the Viper. So it's off lane puck. Kind of quiet. And yeah, save here in the mid lane. Yep. Good rotation. Avalanche toss into the Never Toxin. It looks like the first block is going to go the way of GPK. I, I, I actually think it, it was not the worst thing that could happen for some male. Uh, of course, you know, his lane, it, it, it's looking very rough already. You know, he's already down about a thousand gold. Should be on some king disadvantage. Yeah, I, I think that was confirmed. Like, it's at least around 120, 150 MS. I think yeah. And I, I think that. Ben. Ilias. He's going to go for this. Yeah, he just goes down. I, I don't think he might be in trouble though. <laughs> yeah, they might be able to get him now, but there's gonna be a guard angel in front of everything. Grace is gonna help him out quite a bit here. I don't know if it's gonna help him enough though. Ramsey's been brought low. Dream cool turnaround's gonna be there though. Tiny will blow. DM down to half HP as well. He'll also be the next target. As they counter attack and strike hard, they take down three members of VP. So who was the Sumail before Sumail? Must be. I, I don't know if there oh. was one. Oop. Maybe they'll never truly be one like him again. The GPK is definitely no gone Ice for it. Turn around the stun, the buyback comes out. Ramsey's with a charge forward, doing the damage on the Juggernaut stuff to bring him down. Oh, the Guardian Angel out, which means there's no sort of rebuttal for VP. Chase the fourth for more, they'll be able to find Ilias. So they do get some big picks. Should be able to convert it to a tower. Finally, 404. They find some firm ground to fight back. Moving in under the Viper. The GPK is full health though, and Zumel is going to melt on the Never Tox. The mistakes were made. They bit off the extra bit that they choked on. There we go, anyway. Recall will be thrown out on the save. We'll turn around with the Avatos, do some damage. The healing ward is near him as well, so Tiny can melt too quickly here. He's got one level in the grow, but the damage is pretty high from Ramsey still. They're trying to slow him down. He's unpoured. Wants to finish that kill. They'll turn around on DM, who has no reactive armor stacks just yet. Unpoured. Looks like Puck's able to finish off Tiny. Buyback will come out as they are in deep. Now they're looking to punish him. No one. Not able to get away. He's gone. Instantly punished for that. That's going to be his dieback situation on the side, though. They'll lose a bigger target. Simba is brought down. GPK with the BKB to run away, but Ramsey's too fast as he hunts forward. And GPK, Viper Strike on cooldown, but the almost going to come out of Ramsey's. There will be a save, though. They throw out the disruption. In the meantime, he is going to fall to Sumail. And now Ramsey's Avalanche Toss is going to be there. They melt through him quick enough for the magical damage. They don't care about the physical. We'll be able to TP out with Zyhats, but it, it looks like, you know, BP. Even Greaves on solo. And moving in. Ramsey's jumps in. Dream Cool on to free. One was able to dodge it. Epic gets just out of range. CM's already gone. Save's going to fall as well. They move through to try and cut the back line, but Guardian Angel comes out. Disruption save is going to be there. The Shadow Demon keeps itself alive. The stun control is good. And they find the kill onto GPK. No one chasing forward. Ramses will use the illusion to his advice. can more or less always be the safest person to push out lanes by any risk to him. As he moves in, just pokes across the jug. Atos comes down to spend. BKB used, turns All around. God strength, coil onto two. Viper using that tree to his advantage, but Vision will be given to the Sven. Try and clean him up, toss away to save the day. Does get Viper out. And save still alive. They're chasing him in the freezer field. It is down. Still running. They don't hit him up the stun. They're going to try and melt through him now. They lost the Viper already. Buyback comes out the Shadow Demon. DM gets now a lot of damage here, but they will be able to find the kill on the Ilias. And they'll hunt forward looking for more. With the Storm Hammer forward, Epic Kid does get the spin out. They need to be careful. No magic immunity on their Sven. He does the Ghost Strength, though. He's the opportunity to bring down save, and he'll flip on top of him. Turn around on the Timber as well. They need a follow-up stun, but still on cooldown. You to buy some time. I don't know if they get a stun out of time. They will. They get DM. Four dead on the side of VP. Roche is about to spawn in 10 seconds. 404. Yeah, they gave the Aegis to Sumail, which makes sense, because Sven without the God Strength and BKB is not really a hero. Pretty cool. On the two. BKB. Moving in. Stun is returned. Ramses will now just throw out his BKB with the Guardian Angel and run Timber down. He's dead. Save what we turn on to next. Also fallen. And stun forward onto the fight, but doesn't care about the freezer field. He might soon, but it's not enough magic damage to deter Ramsey from diving the tier fours. Powers won't stop me, but they'll turn around the DM. He just bought back. He'll be stunned in return with the Lotus. But he's still dead. 95 seconds on the sideline. How the hell do you stop this Sven? Like, okay, let's test this right here. It's not like we've got to worry about diving tier fours. Ramsey says, okay, if they won't come to us, then we'll just hit the buildings. Moving in. Epic Kid uses the spin, but that's not the right way to go about this. They just let them hit the throne. They're bringing it low. They'll end the game. 404, game one in their hands. BP already trailing. Yeah. Um, it's very nice to watch this uh, this level of Dota. Um, you can see, I feel like a lot of teams, they would just crumble at, at in the beginning of this game. You know, they would just. Three melee heroes. Nick McLean. Oh, okay, so they're just going to go oh, well, with Pugna, pretty simple. Okay. Standard okay. stuff from them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We saw Sumail play it before, obviously very comfortable on the hero, as we mentioned. Go ahead. They have, a, they have sort of a... 
they have like an anti-draft, you know? It's like these heroes, they're just like... This is like such an annoying draft to deal with. They're gonna to give the first blood over to no one, so he gets closer to that urn. They will at least get the tower. And I'll poke and pro the GPK. Every time the skewers don't cool down, it's gonna be very hard to make an aggressive play. No one! Takes that opportunity, yoinks a kill quickly. Sumail moves in a little bit deep. Obby Slash bouncing around, does move across to Sumail, trying to move away the Infis rune. They will protect the disruption and the TP out from Epikid. Sumail is gonna live, needs to be careful though. Gush to slow him down. They could just look to ravage this up and they will. Stun him up, X gonna be there as well. Horn in, but the RP is gonna come through onto no one. Run him down, they'll also lose the wipe and everybody is just dying on the side of 404s. They'll lose Sias, Ramses, it's a team wipe. VP, I only need a free to do it. They do have the horn, but no winner's curse can make you a little bit reluctant. You don't have that big fat stop what you're doing and hit each other. Horn, there it is, cuts the back line onto the Elias down to half HP already, but the Glimmer Cape protects him. No one has no astral step, has to wait two seconds. Ramses hit up, Cold Embrace will protect him. Ravage traces through, but he's in the tree line, skew across. It's good, Ramses falls and no one. Chased on two next, they decide to stop for Zayas. It's an easier kill, but they know that no one has committed all of his resources. He's got to dissimilate, but no astral step for 10 seconds. They have no way of stopping a TP out, so if you will at least get away, the price is high for 404. Not without um, a whole, whole lot more heroes. RP, straight away they catch Void Spirit. X gonna go down as well. They commit everything with the kitchen sink to ensure no one's gone. And they saw the death, so which means they know he had no buyback at all. That should be roast for them now. Hunt four for more. They think get a lot of value out of this axe. Ravage is gonna be there, connect on more for heroes. They find still on the back line, he's gone to the Swift Slash. On the side, Shadow Deem's gonna go down as well. And Ramsey's running for the high hill. He's short of a team to hold it with. He'll just TP away. And Roche is most definitely in the hands of VP. It's GPK. That is in pretty deep here. He'll force them out of the tree line. The ultimates are on cooldown, so maybe you can find something here. But the kid purged up. Try to do what he can. Skewer back. They find Solo. Winner's Curse is gonna come out. Ramsey trying to size that move away from this. Bird being chased onto. Safe does have the egg in 10 seconds. Now they'll turn, move forward on the Sumail. He's got the decrep for himself, but Zayats has no protection. And the ugly slash runs on so long that they will kill and force the buyback out of Sumail. Buyback comes out from save. RP! GPK on point! Finds the big targets. They run down and kill off Solo and no one. And Ramses, he might have a lot of health, but they have a lot of damage. They'll run him down as well, straight outside the base of 404. And GPK. He'll hunt for for more, he'll find Sumail, he'll get the bash, short of a rampage, but goddamn does he feel like he just earned one. No way to stop him, no way to curse for 20, the damage is too high here. Even if you kill one member of, of VP, it's not going to be enough. They throw down the egg, they get a bash, and an abyssal on top of Zayat to force them to type that GG. Tell us, we are going to a game three. Yeah, a ravage for good measure, some additional kills for epileptic kids. It was it was not a very easy game for for 404 to play this one. Uh, in, in the last game, at least they did have this puck and Sven to sort of be able to kill heroes, but here they are completely lacking in physical damage. The troll, but then like the laning might not be too good. Then okay, dr drow. drow. Okay, I, that's a good. I always pick. forget about the drow. I like. Yeah, not just the laning phase, but also playing a, a very quick lineup as Ramses is going to be. The Pretty target here, up. he is most likely dead, yes. Yeah, um, uh, going for, for a much quicker lineup here. Uh, first blood goes to Enchantress, nothing, you know. You could potentially try to do something with the ET, but oh. it looks like he's just going to be too low on, on resources here after using these spells, and the Sumail is oh. going to be porting mid. Yep. They actually do have the tower, so Sumail does come in. He gets hit up by the bow, but he's chased the forward. The damage too much. GPK, he never got a clip of the ghost ship. He didn't get the buff, and that means both of them are going down. The exorcism proves worthwhile. It's most likely a good thing for VP. Smoke break. Sumail's been found. He'll throw out the silence. He'll screw off their timing on the X, but save is there to save the day. And end the day for Sumail. He committed the exorcism as well, which forced out the chrono, but it's working out from Zayas. It's gonna roll in now, dishing out a lot of damage. Solo stays alive, hand god is good enough. But not with those follow-up bashes. Epi Kid able to run him through Zayas as far as well. They got rid of the Aegis on the side. Ramses tried to join in and completely backfires the 404. And surprised they even wanted to take that fight with the way it began. These are, these are the prodigy boys. They got rid of one of their peas and they became the very big VP. As I move in. 
Gets hit off the silence. They can't get the chrono down. They need to be careful here. Rolling is going to be there. Prone roll as well. Trying to heal up Epic. Bo's going to come through to try and save the day. It might be too late, though. They've lost him. Void is down. They'll poke from the high ground. Sumail chunking up a lot of damage. He's going to heal up for a little bit with the use to buy some time. But Stomp's going to be the torrent. Perfectly timed to punish him. Maybe T's buyback. They'll look to. Uh, the ES is buyback, rather. They'll look to move forward. They might not find more than just the ET kill after the Void one, right? It's, those extra seconds make it obvious. Instead, it's going to be VP the strike. Strand is Ayats. They'll try and back away, but it's just too much damage. They'll find Sol as well. Chrono's going to go down. They did find Drow Ranger. They're trying to heal her up with a hand of God, but it's not good enough. Yules buys enough time for her to start running away. But she might still be there. Gust to push them back. BKB from Ramsey's trying to run this one off. But they're hunting forward. They find the kill under the chin finally. The buyback out from the F Spirit. And the Crime Roar's going to be there. Faces void the target. They need to connect with the roll, but no! The torrent storms all around the fight. Stops the rolling attempt and wipes the entirety of 404. GG immediately gets called by 404. They know it's over. And Vars Pro, what a way to decisively decide the final game of this series. Yeah, Epic Kid there, he survives with the just about 20 HP. And uh, yeah, I mean, 404, they just got the they got kind of demolished. Uh, they just got ran over by.